so guys welcome to our channel once again in today's video on our jam biology exam revision series we are going to answer these 20 questions on the mammalian internal organs so guys in short to see it at the end of this video also at any point where you feel you want to answer the question before we provide the answer you can always pause the video and try out the answer to the question even before we provide the answer due after so guys let's start with the first question here it says in digestion the rib cage of mammal has to be opened in order to expose the a sternum b diaphragm c heart the liver so guys the answer to this question is option c and that's the heart actually the heart is found below the rib cage and so in order to assess the heart during the dissection one has to open the rib cage and then you'll see the heart so let's consider the next question guys that's question number two it says in mammals the organ directly on top of the kidney is the a pancreas b prostate gland c thyroid gland d adrenal gland so guys the answer to this question is option d and that's the adrenal gland the adrenal gland is a hormonal gland that is found directly on top of the kidney and this gland is responsible for producing the popular hormone we all know that's the adrenaline also known as the epinephrine so guys this gland is called the adrenal gland because it's found directly on top of the kidney remember that the kidney is also referred to as renal so you have the adrenal gland that's on top of the renal organ that's adrenal so that's my simple way of actually explaining it so you can always remember adrenal on the renal so let's look at the next question and that's the question number three here it says a particular characteristic of mammals is that they a have lungs b have teeth c are warm-blooded d have sebaceous gland so guys the answer to this question is option d one feature that distinguishes the mammals from other vertebrates is that they have the sebaceous gland and that's the oil producing gland so this is a feature that is unique to the mammals so let's consider the next question and that's question number four it says which of the following is not a function of the liver a manufacture of essential blood proteins b production of bile c formation of red blood cells d regulation of blood protein so guys the answer to this question is option c and that's formation of red blood cells the liver does not have the function of formation of red blood cells however the liver can help manufacture essential blood proteins it can produce the bile actually it produces the bile that is now stored in the gall bladder so it also regulates the blood protein but guys formation of red blood cells is not in the liver rather it's in the long bone marrow and that's where the process of formation of blood cells occurs in the bone marrow so let's take note of that the next question here guys is question number five it says the gallbladder of a mammal has a duct connected to the a liver b duodenum c small intestine d pancreas so guys like we said earlier on the liver is the organ that produces the bile and then this bile is now transported to the gallbladder where it is stored so this gallbladder actually has a connection with the liver it is connected to the liver via a duct and that's where uh, the bowel passes through and gets the gallbladder so guys the organ here is the liver and that's option a so let's consider the next question and that's question number six it says the malfigian body of the kidney is made up of a glomerulus and bowman's capsule b bowman's capsule and loop of henley c cortex and medulla d 
pelvis and pyramid so guys the answer to this question is option a and that's the glomerulus and bowman's capsule the bowman's capsule is a cup shaped structure and within this bowman's capsule is a tuft of capillaries known as glomerulus and this helps to filter the blood and get the feed rates into the nephron of the kidney and that's how filtration occurs so substances are filtered off the blood and then sent into the kidney nephron so it goes down from the proximal tubule to the loop of henley and then to the distal tubule which are convoluted so guys that's just it the glomerulus and the bowman's capsule are the malfigan body of the kidney so let's consider the seventh question here and here we have a diagram and the question here says the part labeled iv represents a the cecum b duodenum c ilium d colon so guys the answer to this question is option b and that's the duodenum the duodenum is the first part of the small intestine that is connected to the stomach so guys if you look at this diagram you see this pipe like structure that is coming down from the stomach and you see that this is just the first part here and therefore guys this is the duodenum and that's the first part of the small intestine that is connected to the stomach so let's consider the next question question number eight it says which of the following pairs of organs is located in the anterior half of the mammalian body cavity so guys when we talk about anterior we'll talk about front or top and when we talk about posterior we'll talk about below or down so talking about the anterior half of the mammalian cavity we're talking about the top part so here we have options a kidneys and hearts option b lungs and hearts option c heart and ovary option d kidneys and lung so guys the pairs of organs found in the anterior parts of the mammalian body cavity are the lungs and hearts so let's look at the next question and that's question number nine it says a distinguished feature of mammals is the position of a hair b nail c scale d skin so guys the answer to this question is option a and that's the hair mammals have this distinguished feature of position of hair so let's consider the number 10 question here it says the organ situated in the pericardial cavity of a mammal is the a heart b liver c spleen d stomach so guys the answer to this question is option a and that's the heart we all know that when we have pericardial cavity cardial has to do with the heart so when you hear pericardial cavity you should know that the organ there should be the heart so let's consider the next question question number 11 it says the part of the human tooth that is sensitive to heat and cold is the a enamel b dentin c gum d pulp cavity so guys the answer to this question is option d and that's the pulp cavity the pulp cavity is where you find both the nerve endings you also find the blood vessels that's the arteries the veins the capillaries so that's where you find these and then this is the part that is sensitive to both heat and cold and that's the pulp cavity guys option t let's look at the next question question number 12 it says the organ that is responsible for detoxification in the body is the a bladder b liver c kidney d spleen so guys the answer to this question is option b and that's the liver the liver happens to be the organ that is responsible for metabolism and in this process toxic substances can be converted to less toxic ones and to a form that can be excreted by making them more water soluble so guys the answer to this question is option b and then let's consider the next question question number 14 it says use the diagram to answer the question here so we are using this diagram to answer this question 
the question says the barrel is stored in the part labeled a i i i b i v c i i d i so guys the answer to this question is option c and that's the i i so when you look at this diagram you will notice that this organ is connected to the liver and that's the gallbladder the organ that is connected to the liver via a duct is the gallbladder and that's where bowel is stored remember that the bowel is produced in the liver and then secreted down to the gallbladder where it is being stored so guys let's look at the next question that's question number 15 it says the sheet of muscle that separates the thoracic and abdominal cavities is a a pleural membrane b intercostal muscle c pericardium d diaphragm so guys the answer to this question is option d and that's the diaphragm the diaphragm is the organ that separates the abdominal and thoracic cavities so guys that's the organ you find between the space between the upper regions that's where you have the heart and the lungs and then the lower regions where you have the stomach the liver and the intestines so this organ also has a function during our respiration it enables us during the respiratory activity so that's the diaphragm guys and that's the organ that separates the thoracic cavity where you have the heart and the lungs and then the abdominal cavity where you have the liver the stomach and the intestines so guys let's consider the next question that's question number 16 it says the organ located within the duodenal loop in the mammal is the a pancreas b liver c gallbladder d spleen so guys the answer to this question is option a and that's the pancreas the pancreas is located in the duodenal loop and it actually secretes its juice into the duodenum during digestion so guys that's the answer to this question option a so let's consider the next question question number 17 we have a diagram here and the question says the part labeled i and ii constitutes a the crown b gum c roots d neck so guys you know that in the tooth structure we have three major parts the crown the neck and the roots so guys looking at this diagram here we have the enamel and the dentine and that's the eye and eye eye and guys these structures are part of the crown so guys the correct answer to this question is option a so let's consider the next question we are almost rounding up with this and here is the question number 18 the question says the mammalian erythrocytes differ from the leukocytes at maturity because the erythrocytes are a discoid and nucleated b amoeboid and nucleated c discoid and enucleated d amoeboid and enucleated so guys the answer to this question is option c and that's discoid and enucleated so when we talk about being discoid it means it has a disc shape and when we say it's enucleated it means it lacks nucleus and guys this is the correct feature of the red blood cell that makes it different from the leukocytes the leukocytes actually have nucleus they possess nucleus and then guys this is one feature of the red blood cells they are disc shaped and they lack nucleus at maturity so guys that's the answer to this question and that's option c so let's consider the next question question number 19 the dental formula i3 over 3 c1 over 1 pm 4 over 4 and m2 over 3 is found in a cow b man c rabbit d dog so guys if you look at this dental formula well you will see that we have four over four which indicates that there is presence of the canisian teeth and this seat is specific to carnivores so guys in this dental formula i represents incisor c represents the canine teeth pm is the premolar and m is the molar this is the dental formula of a typical carnivorous animal so guys i know specifically that this is dental formula of the dog 
and this is for option D. But in a case where you don't really know and you're not so sure, you need to remember that the dog is a carnivorous animal. And carnivores are actually the only animals that possess the carnation teeth. So let's consider the next and last question, guys. The question says, the organ located in the mammalian abdominal cavity just below the diaphragm and lying on top of the stomach is the A, bladder, B, intestine, C, pancreas, D, liver. So guys, the answer to this question is option D and that's the liver. The liver is found just directly above the stomach and it's below the diaphragm. Remember, it's in the abdominal cavity. So everything in the abdominal cavity is below the diaphragm. But guys, this liver is found just directly above the stomach so guys that's the last question here and this will be the end of this video if you enjoyed this lesson please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not a subscriber also if you have any specific question regarding this video please drop your question on the comment section below and we'll ensure to give you a response also you can always help us by sharing this video with your friends to enable us to reach out to more people. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.